On April 15, 1996, United States Secretary of Agriculture Daniel Glickman, Senator David Pryor, former Senator Kenister Hodges, and a host of other dignitaries joined the students and faculty of Dale Bumper's College of Agricultural Food and Life Sciences in Bud Walton Arena to commemorate the renaming of the college. Leadership in a time of change, the theme of that dedication program, still rings true as the refrain of the Dale Bumper's legacy for the Bumper's College and the University of Arkansas. In his keynote address, Secretary Glickman said, Dale Bumpers is a name you can safely carve in stone. You chose him because you view the mission of your college in the same way, providing leadership in a time of change. The name of Dale Bumpers was officially added to the college name on July 20, 1995, by resolution of the University of Arkansas Board of Trustees. Upon learning of the trustees' action, Senator Bumpers said, In my years of public service, I have been honored in many ways. Other than being elected governor and senator by the people of Arkansas, this is easily the highest honor ever bestowed on me. Dale initiated successful legislation and funding for facilities and programs that will benefit Arkansans for generations. Just a few examples that directly impact the Bumpers College include the Center of Excellence for Poultry Science, the Poultry Production and Product Safety Research Unit of the USDA Agricultural Research Service, the National Center for Agricultural Law, the H.R. Rosen Center for Alternative Pest Control, the Rural Policy Research Institute, and the Dale Bumpers National Rice Research Center. As a governor from 1971 to 1975 and senator from 1975 to 1999, Dale Bumpers helped propel Arkansas agricultural and food industries to international prominence. He championed conservation of natural resources and the meeting of human needs through vital services, research, and education. Dale's interest in politics was inspired by Franklin Delano Roosevelt and his father, William R. Bumpers. At the dinner table in the evening, we talked politics. My father was a politician, served one term in the legislature, but he wanted his children to be public servants and help their neighbors and make the community a better place to live. After graduating from Charleston High School in 1943, Dale attended the University of Arkansas briefly before joining the U.S. Marines. After the war, he returned to the U of A and later received a law degree from Northwestern University in Evanston, Illinois. Dale Leon Bumpers and Betty Lou Flanagan were married in 1949 and they returned to Charleston where they raised three children. Dale took over his father's hardware and furniture business, practiced law, and raised cattle, as chronicled in his memoir, The Best Lawyer in a One-Lawyer Town. I bought my father's old business and uh, opened a law practice in the back of the hardware store and built a little cubby hole about 15 by 15 there. And uh, that's too long a story to tell, but I practiced law in the back of that hardware and the first year took in $62. Dale Bumpers is respected by many as one who quietly but firmly supported civil rights and the rule of law by advising the Charleston School Board to immediately comply with the historic Brown v. Board of Education Supreme Court decision. The board took his advice and in August 1954, the Charleston School District became the first in the South to integrate in compliance with the Supreme Court decision. When he entered the Democratic primary for governor in 1970, an early poll gave him only 1% of the vote. I started off with 1% name recognition, only 1% of the people had ever heard of me, and over a period of roughly three months, uh, won the Democratic nomination. He was recognized as a governor who personified the emerging politics of progressive moderation in the South. Arkansas Gazette political reporter Doug Smith said of Dale's administration, there was more substantial progressive legislation enacted than in any other four-year period in Arkansas history. Although an admirer of Senator William Fulbright, Dale successfully opposed him in the 1974 Democratic primary. He later said he felt that Fulbright was vulnerable and that Arkansas would not be well served by the other likely successors. Senator Bumpers was a tireless advocate for research and services to meet human needs through advances in agriculture and other areas. He often reminded his colleagues that we may not all be farmers, but we certainly all eat. A respected and highly influential senator, he served as chairman or ranking member on committees for energy and natural resources, small business, and appropriations where he was ranking member of the Agriculture, Rural Development, and Related Agencies Subcommittee. After leaving the Senate, Dale Bumpers served as Distinguished Professor of Public Policy at the University of Arkansas. He was director of the Center for Defense Information and later joined a Washington law firm where he provided counsel on legal and public policy issues until he moved back to Arkansas in 2010. <laughs>